So the first thing I want you guys to do is go to your onCreate and all of the code that we write is going to go right in here. Because remember, whenever we say OK button, you need to listen for something. It's a good idea to tell it that as soon as we create our activity. Because we don't want to tell the button, you know, to start waiting for something whenever we're about to close it. So we might as well set everything up as soon as we create that activity. So of course, the very first thing we need, you guys probably could have guessed it, is a reference to that button. Now remember this button, or at least I named mine Bucky's button. So now let's go ahead and get a reference to it through code. So now we can just use button and I'm just going to name my variable the same thing as the ID. And I don't know, that's just a lot easier for me to understand and there's no issues with that or anything. So I'm going to name my variable in Java or my object Bucky's button. And what we need to do is we need to typecast this to button and it's find view or find widget by ID and the ID is resource dot ID and then you just type the ID of it which was Bucky's button or whatever you named yours if you named yours something different then make sure to write that right there so now we pretty much went to our interface we got that reference to the button and we now can treat it as an object pretty stinking sweet. <clears throat> Why do I always burp during my tutorial? Alright so now of course what we need to do is we need to take that button and set up the event listener. We need to tell the button hey dude you gotta sit and wait for something to happen. So that's all we're saying pretty easy. So Bucky's button and on it we're gonna call a method called set on not long click listener on click listener long click is something else I'll show you guys that in the next tutorial if you want so set on click listener and inside here again let me clean this up alright so this on click listener is saying okay this button is gonna wait for someone to click it now inside here what we're gonna do is we're gonna pass in that callback method which pretty much means after someone clicked you then do this now the thing is we can't just throw the method in here directly we need to stick it inside an interface and this is just a uh, standard programming practices an interface is really simple to set up it's just a collection of methods pretty much and in order to make an interface just write the word new button and the interface is uh, actually it just popped up oh, now it's not gonna oh it's popping up Oh yeah, there we go. All right, so on click listener. Now after this, just add your brackets. All right, now within here, again, this is where we have our callback method and the method for whenever the button gets clicked. This is what we want to occur is public void on click and we have to pass it in view v. All right. So again, what's going on here is this is our reference to the button. This is our event listener pretty much saying, OK, button, sit and wait for someone to click you. So it's a click listener. They have different types of listeners. And again, inside here is our callback method. And it needs to go in this thing called an interface. And that's just because, I don't know, it's just the rules of Java. So now within here we can actually type anything that we want to happen but remember what I said I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change the text on this view right here so the idea of it is Bucky's text and again this is just gonna take two lines of code text view and I'm just gonna name it Bucky's text and set it equal to the same thing we did up here but we need to typecast it to a text view object first and then we can just do find view by id r dot id dot bucky's text that is the song i love singing I should do the entire tutorial as a musical <laughs> so now that we have a reference to this all we have to do is we need to call one last thing set text now of course what this method does is it takes whatever bit of text you pass in and i'm just going to pass in like good job Pass and sets that as the widgets text. So now let's go ahead and run this bad boy. 
and see if it works. And by the way, while we are waiting, I want to ask you guys this. I have to get a new phone in like the next week or two, and I don't know if I should get um, a Note 4 or a Nexus, like a Nexus 6. So Samsung Note 4, I looked at them today, and they are freaking awesome, or a Nexus 6, which I kind of like because it has standard Android on it. So uh, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. So there we have it, the coolest app ever created. All right, so hopefully when I click this, check this out. And it works. This app is going to sell for a million dollars. Uh-uh. All right, so one last time. What we did, two-second tutorial, we created an interface, and the interface was awesome. And once we had the interface, we referenced both of these things so we could tweak them with our code and we set up a listener on the button that said hey button dude you're gonna listen for something to happen and it's like oh what do I want to happen Bucky and I go I tell you button this is what you want to happen when someone clicks you so we click the button and it did it and that my friend is event handling